Whoa, whoa. What is it? It's a barber hat. You're kidding me. Nugget got one last week in 1914, and you've got a 1912 barber hat. You're kidding me. All right, got Jason with me back here. And we are, I brought him back out at this uh, juke joint, part of that ghost town back in the early 1900s. And uh, we're gonna see what we can find here. Me and Nugget killed it last week. 16 silver coins, relics, military button, a lot of other stuff came out of here. And so we're gonna see what else we can find today. Let me turn you around, I'll kind of show you the layout. All right, we hunted up in the woods, me and Nugget did. And so our theory today is that we're going to focus mainly down through these open areas here. Uh, this is all probably parking for the old gambling joint. And so we're going to be looking. And everything we dug last week was from 1900 to 1927. So hopefully we're going to get some more of those old coins today. If we do, we'll definitely turn the camera on and we'll show it to you. So let's get the swinging. I got a screaming... 26 signal right there at six inches deep. Let's live dig this one and just see, just in case. Let's see what we got here. All right, still in the hole. That's a good sign, but it's still down there deep. I just saw it. I just saw it. Check that out, guys. That is another silver. Got silver! That is going to be a silver barber. Check that out. What year is that going to be? There's our puppy. He's back. That's going to be 1899. Is that what that says? Can y'all read that? 1899. I think so. We'll set it right up there. Check that out. All right. That is awesome. First hit, man. Check that out. 1899. Let's get some pictures and keep on going. I can't believe. This place is still producing. Uh, I had my doubts. Uh, me and Nugget hit it for five hours last week, and uh, three hours we were popping silvers left and right. But the last two hours, neither one of us got anything. But we stayed mainly in the woods. And uh, today we're coming out of the woods, kind of in this open area. So hopefully we're going to find some more stuff out here. So let's keep swinging. Check this out, guys. 32. 31, 34, screaming signal, six inches deep. Right there. We're going to live dig this, and let's see. Hopefully, we're going to be getting a, hopefully, a barber or a standing quarter. I hope so. Let's get down here. All right, do y'all see it? All right, still in the hole. Right. Oh, yes it is. Do y'all see that? All right there on the edge. I don't know what it is. You can pluck it out and see what it is? Gosh, I'm nervous. Come on, what is it going to be? That's not very, that's what, three inches? Three inches deep. I'm going to say SLQ. That's what I'm going to do. It is an SLQ. Check that out. Check that out, man. Let's put it up here. Tell you what, we step back and yes, we'll get right there in the light. Come on, right, right over here. That's a 1925, Jason. 1925 SLQ, three inches deep. 
I think Nugget Noggin came around this tree. He might have missed as a dig hole right there. I don't know. I'll take that any day. All right. Let's get some pictures and keep on rolling. All right, Jason, what number are you getting? 3031. 3031. Now, that was what mine was, and I got a Standing Liberty. What do you want? Do you want a Washington Standing Liberty or Barber or Seated? <laughs> Seated. Seated. Uh, but take a we haven't dug. Well, I did get an 1890. What was my dime? 1898? All right, let's dig it. We're going to do a live dig here. He's got him a, a good signal. Right in the down in a, a sump hole here. And this is exactly where I parked my truck last time. <laughs> Me and Nugget was right here. Parked on top of this last week. All right, let's see if we can see it. Can you see it? No. Nope. All right, where's it at? Is it in the hole? In the hole. No, I mean, it's in this clump right here. There it is right there. I see it. I see it. Flip it up. It is. Oh, it's a barber. Oh, it is a barber. You got a barber. Here, kill that uh, signal. <laughs> what is it? 1909. <laughs> yes, right here, brother. 1909. Right there in the same, right there in the same date range we've been digging everything. That's 1906, isn't 1906. it? I ain't even got my glass. 1906, I believe. I can't even tell. Maybe put it right close to the camera. That's a 1900. 1900. 1900, yeah. Well, check that out, guys. Another barber quarter. And I parked my truck right here last week, right on top of this. That might have been my truck's uh, mark. I was getting a solid 14 and popped it out. I thought it was going to be a thimble, but it looks like it's just going to be a, a top to like a lipstick case, a brass lipstick case. I was hoping it's going to be a thimble. All right, let's keep going. All right, I got another signal here, guys. You can see, let me get out of the sun. Maybe you can block the sun. You can see it a little bit better. Huh? I got 28 at eight inches deep, but I'm going to lay my coil right there because Jason is calling silver. What you got? Oh, I see it right there. Y'all see that? Can I pluck it? One dime game, yep. Check that out, guys. One dime. Flip it over and knock the pump. Here you go, you do it. It's kind of... I know you're not supposed to... Well, we got, oh, it's a worn. 1899. 18, you got the 1800s, 1800s. dude. <laughs> 1899 out of Philly. Out of Philly. Check yeah. that out. Turn it around, I'll get a picture up and we'll keep on going. All right, we're back over here on mine. That was an 1899 Barber Dime. And I am getting, it's anywhere from a 26 to a 30. Warren quarter. I'm hoping I get a Warren quarter. <laughs> I'll take a Warren quarter over a dime. <clears throat> Coins have been coming out of the sand. Good. Where did I? Did I miss it? Is it in the... Oh, there it is. Oh, it's going to be a Merc. going to be a Merc. It's going to be a 19... What do you guys say it is? 20, 37. All right, well, that's going to be the, the youngest dime out of the bunch is this one, 1937. And so, uh, hey, we got a Merc out of the bunch. I've got me a barber. 
Got me a Merc. Maybe I squeeze out. I doubt I'll squeeze out a Rosie out here. I'll take that. All right, let's get a picture and keep on rolling. Let's get an 1819 here. Another lipstick cap, I think. Something like that. It's got a little fancy design on it. All right, let's keep on rolling. We just came making a sweep through here, side by side, just trying to do some gridding off. And Jason's got him a screaming 33 signal. at six inches deep. Uh, a lot of times it's been lead, but we never know. Let's uh, just get in here and see what happens. All right, let me get the camera on you there, Jason. If it does, if this is uh, junk, I'm just it won't make the cut. We we'll just throw it out. Come on, big silver. That's going to be, if it's the 33, that's going to be half dollar. You got to do a root down in the middle of it. That's going to be a half dollar size if that's silver. Could be a big old piece of aluminum or lead. All right, this is a live dig. Let's flip it. Root right down the middle of it, wasn't it? All right, do we see it? Where is it at? Still in the hole? That's a good sign. Mm, the pinpoint's awful big. Yep, right there. So we right in there. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> What is it? That's a barber half. It's a barber half. You're kidding me. <laughs> Nugget got one last week, a 1914, and you got a 1912 barber half. Oh, You're wow, kidding dude. me. Look at that now. Gosh, you and Nugget have killed me on the halves out here. Check that out, guys. A oh. barber half. Well, congratulations, man. Is this your first? First barber half. First, first barber ever. half. I've only dug two in my life. Only so. one I've ever dug. All right. You and Nugget, you got the older yes. one. Nugget got a 1914, I believe. Or it was 1907. He got a 1907 one. That's right. And I think it's 1907. Your 1912 barber half. Wow. Let's get some pictures of this. That's your first barber half, man. How do you feel? Uh, like I want another one. <laughs> You're getting greedy now, aren't you? <laughs> getting greedy now. Yeah. Well, we decided just to come right down here side by side and just grid this off and see what else we can find through here. And Nugget's going to be sick when I tell him that we have found another barber half. I'll send him the picture. You can see where the root was. Yep, root was laying right against see, it right there. Tiny and never got anything. Yep, sure was. 1912 deep. That's about six inches deep. Maybe five inches deep. Yep. Congratulations, man. Let's keep on going. Let's get some more. Check that out. What's that saying? That's eight, eight inches, 28. Right there. 27 at six inches. 27 at six inches, guys. Let's dig this live. Let's kind of. Here you go, hold the camera. Yes, sir. Kind of hold it right there. And let's kind of dig a big plug here, just in case. It's not going to be a quarter, not ringing up high enough. Yep. Uh oh. Maybe. Oh, there it is right there. Holy moly. What you got? Oh, it's just a rosy. Yeah, you did get your trifecta. <laughs> it's a trifecta, That's though. It's just a rosy, though. 64. Oh, my goodness. Hey, that is a trifecta. Hey, that's all right. I got a trifecta today. <laughs> it's just a rosy. I sure hope it. I tell you what, this place spoils you when you're digging barbers all the time. Gosh, it's just a rosy, but I'll take a rosy. I'm not going to discriminate against that thing. All right, let's get some pictures and let's keep on going. Well, I was getting, came back up in the woods where kind of Nugget and I were last week. 
Got an 18, 19 signal about six inches deep and got a little key. Yeah, it's got some writing on it, I'm not sure. What it says, I just broke it though. That's how rotten it is. All right, let's keep on going. All right, uh, the well is right over there. Just working through this area that me and Nugget hit and uh, it's getting an 18, 17, 18. So I, we're just digging all signals right now. Six inches deep, I just popped it up. I just saw it. All I saw was an Ooh. edge. And I don't know, all I saw was the edge. I don't know what that is. I have no clue. I have no clue. It is, it is on there good. No, it's corroded on there good. Oh, that, oh it's a bazinga, it's a washer. <laughs> oh, bless oh my goodness. Uh, we all get bazinga. Goodness, it's just going to be a washer. I can see you can't see it, but there's a hole in it. If I can get it to focus. Yeah, I saw that edge like that in that. Oh, man, it looks so good. I tell you, when you start digging all these uh, barbers and SLQs and barber halves, every little thing gets you all excited. Oh, well. That's why I was bringing up an 18 or 19. I don't know why this thing ain't going to focus. Focus up. There it goes. Yeah. All right. Even the best of us gets bazinga. Let's keep going. Well, we came out of the woods, decided to swing out here digging some wheat pennies. And uh, there was an old home sit, sit, site or a barn on top of the hill. I went up there, but there's a pipeline coming through here. And so I didn't do it anymore. It's just too much uh, static. I guess there's electricity running through that pipeline. But I decided to come down here, dug a hole about, uh, got a 14, and it's ringing up uh, 14, 13, about nine inches deep. And that is going to be, I believe, a Civil War uh, period cuff button. So let me clean this up and I'll get back with you. All right, I got it cleaned up and it is going to be Civil War or post Civil War period. Um, the back mark does got has the full shank on it and uh, does have writing on the back. I'll be able to clean this up a little bit better and get the uh, the maker of it, and we'll see and put a, put a date on that. It's probably going to be post-war, uh, post-Civil War, but it is nonetheless a Civil War period cuff button, or post-Civil War. All right, let's keep going. That's a good find. All right, we finished up out here at this uh, juke joint uh, ghost town, and we had another phenomenal day. Me and Nugget was out here last week. We ended up with 16 different coins. I got 10, he got six. He got a barber half. And uh, we got some other little relics and stuff. But today, uh, Jason came out with me and we hunted this again and we ended up getting another bunch of silver. Let me show you what we got. And here is, this bag is full of trash. And there's all my trash. You can see, definitely in the whiskey. What this place was, was a juke joint. And uh, I probably put a thing in the early part of my video explaining what a juke joint is. But back in the early 20s and uh, teens and 30s, there was a house right out in these woods right here. And uh, they would gamble and have sex and they get drunk and have lots of fun out here and they lose a lot of money. And we got a few of their whiskey bottles in here today. All right, there's all the trash. And here's our treasure for the day. Ended up getting just two regular pennies. I got a key and some, I believe this is going to be a lipstick case type of thing. And um, that one may be some type of top as well. These are Jason's. He got three buttons, some little tag, and um, a spoon handle. Ended up getting three Wheaties. Two Wheaties the last time I was out here. I just didn't uh, uh, put them up. And that one Wheatie today. Jason got two Wheaties as well today most of them are all dating back into the what was your 18 1918 1920 uh this is a really nice find i uh, can't really see it with the 
light. Let's get out of the. There we go. You can see the head right there, the wings, and uh, eaten up right there in the middle. But that's going to be Civil War period, post Civil War, uh, uh, general service button before they made the one in 1902. And it does have a back mark on it, so I'll be able to get a date on this one exactly when that was uh, produced. Here's the finds. Another good day of silver. These are my silvers. I did get a 64 Rosie. And uh, we got a 37 Merc and a 45 or 42 Merc. Merc I don't know. And a 1899. Is that 99? Barber. Those are my dimes. So I got a trifecta plus one. And then Jason got him a 1899 Barber dime as well. And then I got another Standing Liberty quarter, 1925. That's three Standing Liberties I've taken out of here with the date on it. And then Jason got a 1906 Barber dime. I think I was calling that a 1900 earlier today. And the find of the day. There it is, folks. 1912 Barber half dollar. Check that out. These are Jason's coins right here. Check that out. Daddy, and big brother, and little brother. Check that out. And there's all the silver right there. We ended up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight silvers today and, and 16 silvers last week, 24 silvers total. And who knows what's still out here. It went quiet after a while. But there's all the treasure. And there's all the trash. The greatest treasure, my friend, is not what can be dug out in a ghost town juke joint. The greatest treasure can be found up in heaven. Keep searching, keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just wish everybody happy hunting and God bless.